Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Petter's second assignment from module one, that is Python for data science. And the topic is introduction to strings. Now we are going to solve problem number one. And the problem statement is, you are given a sentence which reads, Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia created and edited by volunteers around the world and host by the wikipedia foundation so this is a sentence you may call a string also find the number of words in the given sentence we need to find the number of words present in this particular string first what i am going to do i am going to store this particular string in a sentence variable here i am just going to run this thing here the number of words we need to find right i'm going to use this count method as they gave in hint we need to use count method only so i'm going to take this sentence dot count so i'm going to give space in between then i'm going to add one I'll tell you why I'm adding one. First, let me print this thing. So the number of words will be 20 in this particular sentence. So now I will tell you why I'm adding one here. Here I'm using the same variable what I'm going to do apple space banana here as we can see we are having two words but if we use count method it is calculating space right the number of spaces in this particular string are one only so the output will be one so if i give another word orange i'll get two as output why because we are having two spaces in this particular string i'm just going to run this so as you can see two that's why i'm adding one so that we'll get the correct output so you can see the output we got three that's the correct answer right i'm going to delete this thing output is 20. now we are moving to second problem write a python code which takes a number and returns a corresponding string of iphones for example, if the number is 3, it will return 3 iPhones. If the number is 5, it will return 5 iPhones. So, we need to give input. So, we are taking input from the user and we are storing that value in inputted number. I am giving input as 10 on 10. Here, we need to calculate I we need to print iPhones. So strings are strings can be multiplied with numbers, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this variable, then multiply with a string iPhone. So you know the output, right? I'm going to print this here you can see the output now we are moving to problem 3 a string can be called a safe bridge if it has no gaps that is no spaces you are supposed to take an input from the user and print whether the string is a safe bridge or not so I am giving input as First, I'll show you without any space. 
here I'm using this variable called bridge so they gave us hint to use find method dot find I'm giving space in between uh, for the sake I'm just going to print this thing to show you what find method will return so you can see the output if there is no space in between it is returning as minus one so I'm using boolean here boolean operator so I'm just giving equals to equals to minus one if the inputted string is is a safe bridge then it should return me true because the output which find method gives must be minus one right so we are cross checking if it is equals to minus one then print me true so I'm just going to use this variable then I'm going to give here so as you can see here it is a true that the bridge is a safe bridge now I'm going to change this string python soldiers now I'm running it so you can see it is false that the bridge is a safe bridge now we are now we are moving to problem 4 count the number of capital D's in a string inputted by the user this will be case insensitive so we need to find capital D's only so here is a string and we stored this string in a user string variable here we need to calculate the number of capital D's in this particular string so we need to use count method here I am just going to copy this variable dot count capital D I am getting error because I didn't run this one so now I am just going to give this variable here in this formatted string now you can see the output the number of capital D's in this particular sentence are 2 now we are moving to the last one problem 5 check whether a given string is a palindrome a palindrome is a word, a number, a phrase or other sequence of characters which reads the same backwards I didn't catch that backwards as forward such as madam if we read madam in the reverse order also we get the madam only if we read race car in the reverse order also we get race car only so we are going to do that we will take input as madam here then I am storing that input in user string first I will give input here madam so here I am using slicing operation so I am using this variable So the first one will be starting index and the second one will be ending index and the last one will be step step index. So I'm just giving is equals to I'm going to take this one and I'm going to give minus one here. So what it does it will print the input as string in reverse order from from the back from the back okay from left to right you can call like that also we are checking if both are equals to if both are same print me true not means hell like false so you can see the output true I am going to change this to so you can see we got false 
that's it for now meet you next tutorial or next assignment till then bye bye